Hello. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the web services capabilities in ShareWell Service Management version 5.0. They've made some improvements, and I think it's pretty cool. Specifically, what I'll be looking at is how to connect uh, ShareWell to a SharePoint site using web services. So to do that, I'm going to go into my admin tool, and I'm going to click Browser and Mobile Settings. I'm going to go into the Web Services Manager to set up my web services. And what I'll be able to do after I've set them up is call them from uh, one steps in my uh, system. So I'll go ahead and click Web Services Manager. And you'll see here I've already got a bunch set up. Uh, let's look at how we do that. So in, in essence, we can create a new web service for each of these web services that uh, Sh uh, SharePoint exposes. So I've set up a little demo folder here, so let's go into there. So I'll, uh, to create a new web service, I'll click the plus icon to create a new one. Uh, this will be the lists web service. Sure, uh, Sharewell does support REST and WSDL, SOAP 1.2. Um, I find the uh, the SOAP at this point is, is a little bit more uh, advanced in Sharewell, but REST is coming along nicely. But today I'm just going to look at the, the SOAP capabilities. So after I've changed the service type to WSDL, you'll notice that this WSDL box appears down here. Uh, all I have to do is go ahead and paste in my web service URL, and it automatically populates this box down here. Uh, for security type, I can use none or basic. If I change it to basic, an accounts icon appears here. So all I need to do is go in here and type in my account name and then set up a user ID for that and passwords and click OK. Now if I go back to general and click um, uh, check on always call web service from Sharewell server this means that if I check this box the, the service call will come from the uh, server and not the client. I'll leave that and the log calls to this web service I'll leave that unchecked for now I'm going to head and click Parse WSDL down here. What this will do is we'll, uh, it'll crawl the WSDL and it will pull in all the methods that are available on that web service. So I'll go ahead and do that. And this is just a warning that it may take some time. I'll click Yes. And here we have 32 methods were found in the WSDL and added to the list of methods on the methods page. So let's look at the methods page. Go ahead and click the gear and you'll see that it's pulled in all the methods available for this web service. Pretty cool. All I have to do now is uh, select a method and make it the default. I'll just use get list there. And I'm all set. So I click OK. And there I have a web service that I can uh, subsequently call from a one step. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video.